Well, I wanted to show you uh, my disaster, um, an update on my aquaponics. And as you can see from the last uh, update where I had all freshly planted and all looking good, it's now devastated. And uh, a couple of reasons, it started off with uh, a pest problem that I just can't get rid of. And it's these little aphids, I don't know if we can see them. Right there, it's absolutely infested with aphids. And um, the other problem is, is my uh, zucchini had just gone wild and took over. And uh, I've actually had to pull it away from the window to allow for the, so much growth. And um, tomato has gone spindly in search of looking for light. And what happened is I read that you can uh, use... Uh, boiled garlic and a mixture of olive oil which I did here I sprayed all the plants and um, thought I'd get rid of the aphids and in fact what I did is killed most of the smaller plants off and you can see right down here my uh, propeller bottle idea that was lovely and green just killed that one completely off and this one was freshly seeded, so it never killed that. And it's actually killed all my, uh, oh, sorry, um, my uh, hanging bottle garden there. So the lesson that learned there with aquaponics is uh, olive oil and garlic doesn't work. And the worst to come, uh, all the uh, oil and garlic worked its way through the system into the tank and uh, it's killed 60% of my fish. Um, I think I've got about five left out of the 20 I had. Um, very disappointed that I was able to uh, destroy what was a great system. I had it such a perfectly balanced in chemical and all the right bacterias. And just something as simple as uh, a garlic olive oil mixed, trying to kill aphids, and uh, I've completely ruined it. Um, one of the things I'm going to try is uh, growing the seedlings in trays, uh, giving them a dash of the um, uh, MaxGuard uh, pest control and see if I can control the aphids before I even put the plants in the uh, aquaponics because on my outdoor garden I use the uh, pest spray on the aphids and it works, stops them for a whole season, they don't come back. But in here it's just a reoccurring problem. I just cannot get rid of them and they're infesting every lettuce I grow and just devastating it. Um, so anyway I wanted to show you not just always the good stuff but sometimes sadly the bad stuff as well. So as you can see I've completely stripped out the whole aquaponics, got rid of everything. Uh, for the first time I actually emptied the fish tank cleaned all the water, completely cleaned every cycle to try and get rid of any traces of oil and um, I lost another couple of fish so now I'm down to two out of my original 20 which is a shame I'm going to have to restock but um, at least the system looks very balanced again um, and lesson I've learned from that is don't plant zucchini because the roots took over the uh, the grow beds as well and they were um, matting it up to stop the water draining in through and cycling properly so um, anyway there's lessons to be learned from everything and uh, it's all always a good experience there you have it a nice clean aquaponics to start all over again well, we're about three weeks into uh, the system since I rewashed and cleaned everything and replanted and this time I've just gone for um, a less complex root system of just lettuce and coriander, some spring onion. Um, I'm going to see if I can uh, grow the crops that don't like the hot weather, which we're getting right now outside here. Just send them all to seed. So I've drawn the blinds a little bit, cut down the uh, intense sunlight, and we'll see how we go.
but um, it's about three weeks in since I cleaned it all up and um, just purchased some more small little goldfish you can see the little guys in there I got ten new little goldfish and one original fish from the last stock that survived and that was because it was a black moor house and not a goldfish um, yeah and the systems all balanced pretty well um, some of the lessons I've learned from this is like be careful with uh, some of the bigger plants tomatoes seem okay um, but the zucchini uh, you have to watch because the roots just take over the system and um, because it's such a small uh, tanks, you know, it can soon clog it, clog it up and just ruin the system. Uh, so far, no signs of any aphids, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm looking every day, and if I do see any, I'm going to try and squash them and wash them off and attack them before they take over the system again. But yep, yeah, anyway, we're uh, back in business. Uh, systems working good as it should be and hopefully another couple of weeks I'll be eating that lettuce and uh, plenty of tomatoes from outside anyway